was lucky to have Hugh Herr as my guide. Although only 18, he's considered one of the top rock climbers on the East Coast and certainly one of the best in the world. He picked a beginner's cliff near his Pennsylvania home upriver on the Susquehanna. Oh boy, this is it, huh? Piece of cake. <laughs> Stick it through the buckle. Make it tight. <laughs> you have to just say, use your instincts and just relax and climb. It's very, it comes naturally. Yeah, let's like, start. Like crawling. Yeah. Who's first? I am. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, good. Thanks. I'm watching where you're going. <laughs> Hugh amazed me with his effortless style and strength. He seemed to reach the top in no time. As I gazed up from below, Hugh looked mighty far away, and that cliff seemed to have grown. On what? <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know where to put my put my next foot. Take each move one step at a time. Yeah. Oh, feeling a little too secure there. Just calm down. Use your feet. Okay. <laughs> Climb on, he says. Oh, boy. <gasps> the gloves weren't very helpful to my grip, but I had to do something to protect my fingernails. Keep it up. <laughs> you feel great when you get up here, believe me. So this is the joys of rock climbing, huh? <laughs> Where do you grab? OK, I'm on the ledge. Boy, oh boy, this has got me stumped here. I haven't got any place in my right foot. Just hang in there. Thanks, you. I needed it just then. I needed that. Hang in there is all I needed. Okay, climbing. All right. Good job. You're soon there. All right. Good job. Oh. What a Am I here? <laughs> oh, God. You're my hero. Oh. All right, you're there. <laughs> Where are the cold drinks? Oh. All right. You look back on it, that's, that's what makes it worth it. A little bit scared? Yeah, you'll laugh about it tomorrow. Yeah? <laughs> I'm going to hold on to you and look over. Oh! Good grief. No, I can't, actually. Neither will my mother. <laughs> The climb was one of the scariest challenges I've ever faced. For Hugh, it had been a snap, but I haven't told you yet the most remarkable thing about Hugh Herr. In the winter of 82, Hugh and his friend Jeff Batzer were lost for four days on the blizzard-swept slopes of Mount Washington. They were discovered after a massive search that took the life of one rescuer. And although their lives were spared, they were to pay a horrible toll. Hugh's legs were so frostbitten they had to be amputated below the knees. As you have seen, this expert climber is back on the cliffs, but with two artificial legs. What went through your mind when the doctor told you you were going to lose your legs? Same thing Jeff said to his doctor, let's get rid of him. Yeah, get rid of my foot. That's what it comes down to. Let's get on with life. You called yourself the mechanical boy down there. Why? Just the different feet. You can change yourself, make yourself taller, shorter. <laughs> mechanical. <laughs> you can be mechanical, adjustable. You've gotten very creative with them, too. I yeah. was noticing I, these. I think it's the wave of the future. Man working to adapt better. I think you're terrific. <laughs>
<laughs> At his home in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Hugh fought his way back from being a complete invalid. He developed an elaborate regimen of self-therapy, devised from the objects around him. For example, where you and I might see an ordinary barn. Appearances, Hugh is far along the road back to normalcy. After only a year with artificial legs, he blends easily into his surroundings and the company of his friends. But Hugh's overriding desire was to return to climbing. The detachable feet of his prosthetic legs were inappropriate for climbing, so Hugh designed various feet specially adapted for different rock surfaces. Thus his nickname, the Mechanical Boy. You gonna use your edging feet for this? Yeah, it's mostly face, except for one roof. Uh -huh. Ah, edge. In preparation for the day's climb, off came the walking shoes and on go the feet. The hue is shaped for this kind of rock. Cool. Yeah. You just got passed to a board. Wow. Yeah, guess. Hugh usually climbs with older brother Tony, who first introduced Hugh to his undying passion. Right. Technology's slow, but I'm ready. These are the Shawangunk Mountains in upstate New York. These vertical and often overhanging cliffs offer some of the most difficult rock climbs in the world. It's no small challenge to a photographer either. Director cameraman Bob Carmichael and our crew captured on film the extraordinary mental and physical control of Hugh Herr on rock. Set up my three-quarter extension. Okay. Okay. Hugh has not only invented the interchangeable foot, he also designs and markets his own clothes, which are becoming quite a rage among climbers. All right, Tony, I'm ready to go. Okay. Go for it, Hugh. Hugh Herr has climbed so far into the outer limits of mountaineering that even the most overhanging walls cannot stop him. A little bit. Hang on. Baby. Go for it. Woo! Cracked it, man. No problem. In 18 months, Hugh has crawled, walked, and climbed his way back from devastating tragedy to become a master in his field. Despite his overwhelming handicap, he can climb as well as any able-bodied person in the world. His indomitable will is a shining testament to the height of human potential. All right, man. Woo. <laughs> 